So this is the last practice problem for the test one on the AccuPlacer. And this one might have the most steps. So what I've done is I've created this graphic. This is showing the 28 day period that we're talking about in this problem. So Carol works in a bookstore and a restaurant. So she has two jobs. In a 28 day period, Carol worked one quarter of the days at the bookstore this amount. That's one quarter of the four week 28 day period and did not work on one quarter of the uh, one fourteenth of the days. So one fourteenth of the time she had off. So she had some time off. So that's this amount of time. So this is her work time at the bookstore and this is her time off where she just took some, where she kicked back. On the remaining days, Carol worked at the restaurant. So that's all this yellow time. Now, if you had this graphic during the test, you could just count the other boxes, but you don't have that. So you have to figure out what they are. So let's do these things where we're going to add these two fractions together and then subtract them from the 28 days. So here's how we set this up. We have one over four plus one over 14. Now, what we want to do here is we want to add those two fractions together first. Now, if you notice, the denominator here is not the same. So what I want to do is I want to convert this into the LCM. Now, they kind of give it to you automatically because I look at 28 and I go, oh, that's how many days they are. And I know that I can multiply 4 by 7 to get 28 and I can multiply 14 by 2 to get 28. So watch this. Now, I intentionally left some space there just so we had some extra space. So watch this. I'm going to multiply this by 7 over 7. And this one I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. So what we have here is we have 1 times 7, which is 7, and we have 4 times 7, which is 28. So 7 over 28 is the same thing as 1 over 4. It might look, to di might look different, but since we're just multiplying it by 7 over 7, which is just 1, it doesn't change the value. It's the same thing. It just looks different. Here we have 1 over 2, which 1 times 2 is 2, and 14 times 2 is 28. So since they have the same denominator, we can see right away that uh, we can just add them straight across because this is the same as 7 plus 2 over 28, which is 7 plus 2 is 9 over 28. So 9 28 are time that Carol either worked in the bookstore, she was at the bookstore, or she did not work. So these are the two things is 9 28 of the time. So going back to this graphic, this much time. So all the other times is the time that she worked at the restaurant. So she's there for the remainder of the time. So we just have to figure out what that is. So if we want to do that, we want to take this and we want to multiply. We want to see how, much, how many days she had off or at the bookstore. So we're going to multiply this by 28. So there's 28 days, 9 28 of these, she was out. Now, hopefully you remember that 28 over, the 28 is the same thing as 28 over 1. So watch this. Because 28 over 1 is the same thing as... 28. And when you're multiplying fractions, if you have the same number on the top and you have the same number on the bottom, you can simplify that to 1. So this is the same thing as 9 days that she worked at either the bookstore or had off. 
So nine days, she was at those two. So I'll put bookstore plus off equals nine days. Now, all we have to do now is we just have those nine days and we can subtract that from 28 to find the restaurant. So the total days is 28. I'm going to subtract the nine from it. This is total days. And we just have to figure out the restaurant time now. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the 28, we're going to subtract 9 from it to get our final answer. So 28 minus 9 is 19. And again, use your fingers. So we have 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. And 19 is our final answer, B.